Hello, and welcome to my happy little bubble. Good evening guys, um, so just thought I'd do a little video just before it gets dark, um, just with our chickens, um, just about our deep litter method. Um, so as you can see, it kind of looks a little bit of a mess in there, but there's no smell. Um, and the last time I cleaned them out was about three months ago. And the reason for that is um, we just keep adding in um, fresh organic material, every time we cut the grass, bags of grass which I've got here which I'm going to put in in a minute, um, cuttings, weeds, anything from the garden, um, any used up brassicas or anything like that from the veg plot just gets put in along with their own manure and hay from inside the coop and the theory is that they basically make compost for me by just digging around and doing what chickens naturally do which is just scratching and turning over all this um, material without me having to physically do it um, with a fork. So they basically make our compost for the garden and this has been going now as I say for a couple of months and what we will plan on doing is we will keep adding in fresh organic material along with um, all of the stuff that we muck out of the coop all the way through the summer up until sort of October, November time and then I will clear all this out and I'll put it um, into some of my raised beds um, with no veg once all that produce has come out and I'll let that overwinter for a few months and break down so the nitrogen and things like that is not too strong and then hopefully come springtime we'll have some really good um, rich compost to plant in some new plants in the spring and we'll start the whole process all over again um, and then as we hit sort of the winter months I'll fill this floor in with just wood chips so the chickens are not um, getting wet feet and we don't have any diseases and things like that but we'll do another video later on in the year to show how that'll work um, and as you can also see one of our chickens has knocked the water over luckily they have two just here but I'm going to fill that up as well so I'll go inside the coop and I'll talk through a couple of the things of how um, I do so I'm going to take in my garden fork and the plan is the following. Good evening, ladies. I'll give this a shut so they don't get out. So basically, um, the plan is every couple of days we will rake all of this material up into a big mound and then the chickens over the few days that we don't come in will just kick it back down and spread it around and then we pick it back up again and as I say they do all the hard work by turning the material. So I've got a bag of grass here just to add in and I already cleaned the coop out earlier so all of the straws there um, and I might put that on the top just they'll probably have a good route through that because it's fresh. So we'll rake this up remove this water canister and basically we just drag all of the material from the floor And as you can probably see, this is already starting to break down and as soon as you pile it up, as you can see the chickens like to sort of have a root around in there 
and see what they can find. And then I'll add this bag of grass on top. And they'll probably have a good pick. And as you can see, they're straight in to see what's going on. And they'll just kick that back down. So, come back out. And they'll see what they can find. We'll flip that around so you can have a close up. Straight involved, having a little peck. Very happy. And as you can see, the material underneath, bearing in mind it's only been a couple of weeks, is really breaking down already with the rain and the weather. And they'll just kick that around over the next couple of days. And that'll probably cover the entire floor area. And then we start again, build it all back up, and off they go. Work those legs, lady. Work those legs. Right, fill the water up. So, whilst we're on, we'll talk very quickly um, about how you fill the water up. It's just standard chicken water feeder. Um, water feeder, water even. we we'll turn this, and that just lifts off. And as I said, I've already knocked it over, so it's empty. We'll get rid of that. I only did this this morning, so it's relatively clean. But obviously, you can give this a good scrub out. And then basically, I'll give it a little rinse. Get out the water on. Give it a little rinse. Give this a little rinse. And then we tip it upside down, and we just fill it. And then basically, this part here is where the water comes out. And they get like a puddle effect, which is what they used to drink it from. And we click everything back into there. And I like to keep it up high, as we saw in the chicken coop, so they don't kick all of the muck into it, and they stay relatively clean. The problem is with mine being higher up, is as you just saw, sometimes when they get a little bit low on the water, they'll knock them off. But hopefully when that's nice and full, the weight of that will hold it on. Okay, we are full up. Let's take that back over. Click the lid back in. And there we go, flip that back. And we fill up. Let's go. So that water is back in. And as you can see, I think they're more interested in the drips underneath rather than what's going on at the top. But that's full, and our one over there is full. And they've got the little mountains have a play on. So we should be sorted, and that should keep them going for a couple of days. So, we've got quite a peaceful, nice evening. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe for more videos on lovely food, lovely times, and happy little things inside my happy little bubble. Until next time, guys, cheers. Goodbye.